Okay, in this little clip we're going to have a look at the launcher assembly and we're going to look at trying to create an exploded view. So, first thing you're asked to do is pop into the configuration tab, which is just here, and we're going to create a new configuration. So, this is our first look at configuration. So, you go from Feature Manager Design Tree to Configuration Manager, and you can see there's already is a one default configuration in there. So, we're going to create a new configuration. Make sure you click on right click on the top level, so Launcher Configurations, you're right clicking on that. Otherwise, if you click on that, you get a derived configuration. That's a configuration within a configuration, not what we want at this stage. So right click on that and left click on add configuration. And we call this one exploded. And give it a description. Exploded view. And so I click OK on that. You see, then I've got two configurations. So I've got a default one, and I've got an exploded view option there. So um, just to quickly explain the configurations, all really configurations are as a matter of kind of uh, creating little modifications to each one. So in this one, we're going to uh, make this one explode. So we're going to move all the components away and disassemble the part. Um, but if I pop back here, just to give you an example. If I right click on, say, the, the arrow three, and suppress that. And I go back to my configurations. You can see if I go to default, it's unsuppressed in that one. See that? And then exploded view, it's suppressed in that one. So really that's all configuration are turning off things, modifying dimensions in one version as opposed to the other version. And um, so it's really just that. So I'm gonna unsuppress that one. And go back to my so just check both of them are all the same. And we can go and create our, our little exploded view. So yeah, hopefully I'll get this one right, not like in class, I'll get the right sequence, so I'll try and follow the book as best I can on this one. So click on the Exploded View button here, select your component, and it's really a matter of dragging along the arrow to where you, you need to be. So if I zoom in just slightly, I'll drag that a little bit further, so somewhere there, like that. So that's my first little chain of, of exploded steps, if you like. So move in then and select so I'm going to select these four components. I'm going to move all these together. So move them across to there. And let's undo that. Because I had my auto space on at that stage. I didn't really want that on at that stage. So move it along again. That's more like it. And then we're going to just move it again to so another. So I select those items and select the green arrow this time and move it down ever so slightly. And select my two front components, move them forward slightly on that. So that's that front end done. So that's all we're kind of required to do in the front end. So it's just a series of dragging the dragging the thing across like that. Okay. So if I uh, look at next, the next thing is that the back end of this. So correct page. So we're gonna select the the assembly of this. I'm just gonna select this from here because I'm gonna make sure I get all the parts of that. So select that from there and move my red arrow that way a little. Slightly, and if I select all the space this time on that, so that it. and we can adjust the spacing of that using this little bar. So approximately there, it's about right there. Spacing now again. Is it not going to put a space on the next one? I don't think. Not 
first anyway. So move that one. Again selecting the assembly and moving along the red red axis. So let's go. And these are gonna be done slightly differently. Um, So we're going to just kind of move these down individually. So this one, I just need to kind of pick that. I'm not getting much joy from picking that from that. So yeah, I'll use pull the ring there. I'll use that just to get that. So move that from it there. And let's do that again. And move it. Not down, he's this way, isn't he? Yep. Over that way there. And then the plunger needs to move back slightly. And the plunger again needs to move in this direction slightly. That's roughly that kind of near enough um, the positions we're looking for. So I can click OK on that. So that's roughly the positions we're we're looking on that. Okay.